Hey YouTube, welcome back. Matt again from Ponds Productions Sound and Lighting. This is part two of my microphone tutorial. And um, I'm going to go over some terms uh, that you might have heard, maybe you've never heard, um, as far as when, when you're going to purchase a, uh, a microphone, uh, the things that you need to be aware of. Um, and one of the things is the polar pattern. Every microphone has a polar pattern. And I'm going to show you what those look like. Uh, I have some, some little diagrams. I actually downloaded these from Wikipedia and I printed them out. And so you could do the same. Um, this is the first pattern. And this is the pattern of the Shure SM58. And um, they call this a cardioid pattern. And I'll show you why. If you hold this upside down, it looks like a heart. Isn't it cute? Uh, so, you know, I guess it's a cardiac heart. That's how they got the name for cardioid. So, this is the top. Right, it looks like a little butt, right? Alright, so I'm going to grab the SM58. And I'm going to put this here. Alright, so everything that's outlined there, in the bold, the bold line, that is where the sound is going to be picked up by the microphone. Now, notice that... Add this little bubble here, right in the butt crack, I will call it. Um, that is for that is for sound rejection. So that if you have a monitor, let me put this down for a second. All right, so you have your microphone up on the uh, stand. Now you have a monitor on the floor there, so that the singer can hear themselves. Well, when the sound is coming up from the monitor, you don't want it to go back into the microphone because then you get feedback. So you want uh, you want some sound rejection there. You, you don't want any sound to, to get into the bottom of that. So that's why they have that pattern, which is great, which is why you're going to see these on most stages. Um, the Beta 58 has is a super cardioid, so that has that pattern. So it doesn't have as much rejection here as the regular 58. Um, now the only difference between the, the two mics um, really is is on on the EQ band. Um, these will the lowest frequency it will accept that you'll be able to hear is 50 hertz, all the way up to 15,000 hertz or 15 kilohertz um, for the regular 58. The Beta 58 will be able to 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 get. 16,000 hertz or 16 kilohertz. Um, that's really the only difference. Um, so there's a little bit more of a richer, higher end uh, frequency there. Just a little bit. So uh, for female vocalists or, you know, just good vocalists in general, they prefer a, a, the beta version to get a little bit more frequency in their voice so you can hear it. The um, Now, the 57 is is what they call unidirectional which means you're only going to get it on the front and directly on the sides not so much down here but it's still a cardioid pattern my Audix OM2 is a hypercardioid so let's show you what that looks like that's the hypercardioid so have the <coughs> the cardioid pattern but a little bit more on the bottom of the microphone. Um, let me show you the difference between the heart, a hyper, and the super, so you can get a comparison there. Okay, so super, hyper, super, hyper, hyper, super, hyper, super. Okay, and that's what that is. Now, uh, that is, that's polar pattern. So, 